Artificial intelligence has pervaded every aspect of our lives. For those of us who are involved in research and academia, it has helped us in not only in analyzing data for our research, but also now in academic writing. This workshop is written for those who have done research, have done the data collection and analysis, and are struggling with writing the manuscript. AI is here to help you. My name is Vaikuntan Rajaratnam. I'm a hand surgeon, a medical educator, and an instructional designer practicing in Singapore. I hope that this workshop will help you to do the heavy lifting of writing manuscripts while you can focus on the development of research questions, ideas, and conducting research to collect data to help the subject matter area that you are in. I hope you enjoy this workshop as you go through the various tools and tips that can help you to write your manuscript and get on with your publication. Thank you and enjoy yourself. In this uh, workshop, we will go through the IMRD or IMRAD framework that is commonly used in scientific publications. We will see what are the technologies uh, that are available to enhance our writing process using AI. It will be very much a hands-on session with your paper in front of you. And we will use the tools so that you have a real authentic experience in the use of those tools. We also want you to collaborate with your peers and your uh, supervisors so as you are able to share knowledge using these tools. And the practical skills that you will get from this workshop would definitely go a long way towards getting you to the uh, production of your manuscript. So what is the IMRD framework? It's the classical framework in most research paper, which includes the introduction, the methods, the results, and the discussion of your research topic. So we will go through each of this with examples for your case and how you could then write this using the help of the AI. So in the introduction, we're looking at why bother with this research. Here's where we try and craft the problem that this research uh, was uh, prompted by and how this is going to address there's a gap in the knowledge in the area of subject matter that you are researching on. In other words, you need to look at the literature, find out what is the area there are gaps in and how your research is going to bridge that gap. So it is a research for solutions and bridging gaps and in this part is where you write your research question your hypothesis and you usually ends up with the aim of this paper. In the method section is where you answer the question, how did you collect your data? How was the research designed based on the question? And what was the data that was collected? And how you use that data and the analysis framework that was used to get the answers to the question? It has to be reproducible. Your method section should be sufficient detail and clarity to allow for reproducibility. And the, finally, you have the results section, the main part of the research, which uh, has to produce the result as transparently as possible. Remember all this in the past tense, and it needs the tables and the figures. And finally, you come to the discussion session, where you will include the reasons, the rationale for the findings that you have got, and comment on them, and how it impacts the practice in your domain and its implication. Then we come on to the, another component that though we're not specifically covering, but it's a very important part of publishing uh, your work, and that's the abstract and the conclusion. So the abstract is, needs to be drafted very carefully with specific terms, especially searchable and keywords, so that it will be included when people look for your particular area of interest and your paper will be found and will be cited for impact. And in the conclusion section is where it's very important to see what, so what, as far as your research is concerned, what did it find, what are the implications, and give ideas for further research because this is where your uh, colleagues would look for ideas to conduct research. So one of the important aspects of doing research is ethical and standards. And so we must make sure that we uh, fulfill this, there's no plagiarism. 
the credit taxonomy is what I use in terms of um, uh, collaboration to ensure authorship that everybody has contributed equally and uh, um, with integrity. And finally, uh, it is the ethical aspects of the research has been considered, and this has to be included in your uh, manuscript. 